Today's Daily Dose of Math is part four in the series, What is a Rectangle Anyway? Today we answered the questions, is a rectangle also a trapezoid? And is a trapezoid also a rectangle? Here we have a green rectangle. We can see that the two shorter sides are equal in length to each other, and the two longer sides are also equal in length to each other. We see by these little squares in the corners that it has four internal 90 degree angles. In orange, I have two trapezoids, an isosceles trapezoid and a right trapezoid. In the isosceles trapezoid, sides AD and BC are equal in length, as shown by the little lines, and there are no internal 90 degree angles. In the right trapezoid, none of the sides are shown as being equal in length, and there are two internal 90 degree angles. Furthermore, there's notes here that show that in both trapezoids, side AB is parallel to side CD, and side BC is not parallel to side AD. This information becomes necessary once we look at the definitions of a trapezoid and a rectangle. Let's look at the definition of a trapezoid first. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral with a pair of opposite sides that are parallel and in which the remaining pair of opposite sides are not parallel. Warning, this is the exclusive definition of a trapezoid, which is the definition that is used in the curriculum within which I teach. But there is also an inclusive definition of a trapezoid, which is used in some school curriculums. Therefore, when you're looking at the information in this video, you have to check the definition in your local curriculum of a trapezoid in order to find out if these facts apply or not. My rectangle does not qualify as a trapezoid by this definition because while it certainly has a pair of opposite sides that are parallel, the remaining pair of opposite sides will also be parallel. It cannot be a trapezoid. Now let's look at the definition of a rectangle. It is a quadrilateral that has two pairs of opposite congruent sides and at least one internal 90 degree angle. My isosceles trapezoid cannot be a rectangle because it only has one pair of opposite congruent sides and it does not have any internal 90 degree angles. My right trapezoid also cannot be a rectangle because although it does have at least one internal 90 degree angle, it does not have two pairs of opposite congruent sides. In fact, it cannot have two pairs of opposite congruent sides. Therefore, the answer to both questions will be no. Using the exclusive definition of a trapezoid, a rectangle is not also a trapezoid, and a trapezoid is not also a rectangle. That is today's daily dose of math, Please like, subscribe, and share.